Hey friends, welcome to the Stationery Cafe Happy Hour. This is April from Penguins Creative, and we have Kelly from Kelly Love Flutters here with me today. We're going to talk about all things stationery and fun things in the community. So join us with a drink. We're going to talk about something new, something old, something in our shopping cart. Hey Kelly, how's it going? Hey April, it's good. Um, I'm sitting here with a cup of black tea. It's it's actually birthday tea, so it. It's one of those ones that has sprinkles in it. What? <laughs> but then I, I added honey to it, and I feel like it's actually too sweet for me, which is not something that I often say about anything. <laughs> How much honey did you add to it? Oh, my goodness. Just a little, just, like, not too much. So that know. tea originally is sweet? Is that what you're saying? Like Well, it, I mean, it has sprinkles in the tea, so it's, like... The sugar from the sprinkles? It, like, dissolves, you I know? See, I see. <laughs> but I don't think it's that sweet. Anyway, I don't know. I'm drinking um, afternoon milk tea. In the nice. Glass. Okay. So mom and I went to Uwajimaya and Kinokuniya today in Beaverton, and they don't have the afternoon milk tea in the big jugs. Or no. Ones. They have like a Boss brand one. You know that brand, Boss? No. It's Japanese. You, you'd probably know it if you saw it, but... I'm saving like the, that for later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the coffee can kind? With yeah, but it's not box? canned. It's it's in a, it's, I think it's that brand, but it's like in a pet bottle. So I don't know. Yeah. Well, I think they come and go. Like sometimes they would have a bunch and then yeah. they would like put that in that middle section where you just like grab jugs of it. <laughs> yeah. <yep>. Yeah. <laughs> Next Seattle trip, I'll do that for sure. <laughs> come on up. So yes. yeah, let's let's start with um, something new. Actually, mm -hmm. should I start? I'm really excited to talk about this. And oh I yes, should, you should. I should I'm excited talked, about I it. I should have talked about last week because they already sneak peeked it. But then yeah. also like this morning, well not this morning, this, this past Saturday morning, <laughs> mm -hmm. I was about to go up to Nita's, um, our friend's place to journal and have hot pot together. And I was just like, you know, you know, you know what you do like you like pack last minute you're just kind of like you know doing this doing that and then I was like okay I'll, I'll, I'll leave at 10 I, I, I promise I'll leave at 10 and then 10 cup rolls around my phone gave me an alarm I was like oh no I need to shop at paper and milk right now <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> because Happy Daya uh, and paper and milk had a collab that dropped this past Saturday, 10 a.m. PST, and it's their holiday collection. Um, so apparently, the, um, Denise from Paper Milk and Benya from Happy Daya, they actually had been collabing on Christmas sticker sets or sticker sheets for the past yeah. few years. They, they didn't do it last year because of the pandemic. They had one the year before, 2019. And then this year, they finally released it. And it's called the Santa's Workshop. And it's super cute. Um, yeah, it's, it's real got, cute. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see, it's like a combination of um, Happy Daya's panda character. And then Denise Paper and Milk's maru the marshmallow character oh, and they're just so cute playing together and obviously with the santa's workshop you kind of have that like little like toy the preparation toys. wrapping you know the tree sneaking into the tree all that stuff and happy daya has been starting this new style of sticker called the poco or something mm -hmm. right where it like overfills the edge so that when you tear it off it doesn't have the white edge or anything and that one's super cute as well I, They're so cute. <laughs> I was in a rush, so I didn't really know what I bought. I just thought I got the one. <laughs> <In April. laughs> I I was like, okay, I need to get that mini mini sheet. Uh, sorry, mini mini kit with with mm -hmm. the big stickers. And I was like, I need to get that Poco sticker. So I was adding to cart, and then I saw an entry that's like thirty six dollar, and it's got everything. Okay, oh, I should have gotten just this. You know, it's got everything. And then mm -hmm. I realized this set, $36, comes with like six plastic ornament hanging things, oh. <laughs> which I absolutely don't need, but I guess I bought oh, it. No. <laughs> it's super cute though. They come in like little chains and you're supposed to like hang them on the trees and stuff. Yeah. Well, that's kind of cute though. 
but I got all three items. So I got the washi, uh, nice. those, the poco sticker, the mini kit, and six extra plastic ornaments. <laughs> well, I I expect a cute as hell Christmas card from you. <laughs> <laughs> you might see an ornament in there. <laughs> Like, I don't, you, do you guys not do a tree? No, we don't. Um, Elliot celebrates, well, he doesn't really celebrate anything. His family right. celebrates Hanukkah. So we I had totally a, forgot. We had a Hanukkah <laughs> bush, actually. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> which, which grew into a giant bush in our backyard. So I don't think we're moving it indoors oh, this year. Oh, got it. Okay. Plus, plus Cookie goes to the toilet around it. So. Yeah, I was going to say the, the, I bet Cookie's the problem. <laughs> I thought about getting a tree at Target. Maybe I need to just go again. I, I there are like I went to QFC the other day and they had like tiny trees. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know, probably like that, not, not that big. <laughs> like yeah, about the the height of your torso. I saw one yeah. that was um, like fifty dollars, and it's like probably my height. Well, a little bit like five foot, and mm-hmm. it's like plastic. So I was like, ooh, maybe I could do that. It's a very skinny tree with like just a little bit, but. So let's, in the comments, let's see, do you love or hate plastic trees? I, <laughs> so I, we had one for quite a while, quite a few years, but like, I don't know, there's just something about it that doesn't, it doesn't vibe. It's, it's like, I know, I know there's that story where our friend from a blank note, she like bought one from Costco and had to return it because turns out her husband is allergic to the, yeah. to the, to the, you know, the little glittery thing on their face. Tree. Kind of hilarious. I'm sorry, Carter. I, was... <laughs> I know it was, it was kind of oh, funny. They, like had it for two days. Like she was imagining this oh, beautiful no. warm house and then, and then her husband <laughs> broke out in hives like no. <laughs> right afterwards. So there you go. Yeah. Costco, Costco trees could could be could be just scary. be be careful when you go shop at Costco. <laughs> so yeah, and and the funny thing, so the story did not end. So I bought from oh, no. paper and milk at ten a.m. Oh, because yeah. she's based in the U.S. I was like, yes, I'm gonna get it right before before Christmas. And then like I was in a rush and I ran <laughs> and I rushed out. I got to Nita's and then around four p.m. I was like, did you see their collab? Like check it out. And so she started mm-hmm. scrolling. <laughs> And she's like, these are so cute. And then she showed it to me. I was like, wait, I didn't see this. So it turns out she's on Happy Daya's site. And she had uh, all the other Christmas release stickers. Oh, so I see, was that's like, how they get you. So I was like, no, no, I need to make an order here too. <laughs> so we, so we oh, split no. shipping. And I made like a second order of Happy Daya stickers. Nice. And, you know, while I was there, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get another sheet of the Poco stickers <laughs> <laughs> of the same hey. theme. <laughs> It's fine. It makes us happy. It and they're does. so adorable. It makes me so happy. It's so cute. <sighs> I really, I was looking back at their collaborations in 2019 and I kind of really like that set too. It had more of a, a traditional Christmas color theme with like the evergreen, the holly red, and the white. This one's more of like a colorful one, kind of warm orange, warm pink warm green so it's like kawaii christmas it's a different vibe so i i like the both the traditional color palette and then you know this kind of more funky one but yeah you know i i still have a lot of christmas stickers from mind wave last year i don't know if you remember oh, the, yeah. oh. the, the surfing santas <laughs> and all that i remember <laughs> you, you bought like a million freaking mind wave stickers last yes. year yes <laughs> So I think I'm all set in the traditional sense. (laughs) So this is sort of related. This is something, this was a blind box I got at uh, Kinokuniya today. The real Akuma one! The real Akuma! And it's in a Santa suit. I know, he's really cute. I got a good one. (laughs) Not like you can get a bad one, really. (laughs) I think mine was uh, the bird, the the Pyoko and like yeah the little yellow bird the chick with a santa hat on it and then it's been sitting on my mantle and i meant to switch out the real akuma with the witch hat in my car and i never got around to do it so it cycled around to halloween 2021 (laughs) (laughs) oh my gosh from halloween 2020 yes i i bought a 
Rilakkuma Halloween when I was in Seattle last time, and then I've that's been in my car with my Halloween pusheen. So I used to just have the pusheen in my car, but now I've got I'm I'm starting to get the Rilakkumas too because I'm Ellie got too me kawaii. onto this. Like I don't know why, but as a stationary person, <laughs> He's you just an old need kawaii. <laughs> you just need a little kawaii pushy hanging from the mirror. <laughs> like it's a 100%. lifestyle now <laughs> yeah <It's... laughs> this isn't a phase mom <laughs> <laughs> deal with it so what do you have for us so i wasn't sure if i should talk about these um but i'm going to because they're absolutely incredible you um, said these must be discussed i mean <laughs> They they must be like because April's like oh are you sure you don't want to talk about something else nope I don't so <laughs> <laughs> um so this is gonna release on November sixteenth at ten a.m. PT um which is yesterday if you're listening to this podcast when it gets released so it's a new stamp set from Everyday Explorers Co but Kelly don't you talk about them like every single month maybe but. <laughs> It's <laughs> every single time I do, it's because I have to let everyone know how amazing these are. Um, Just like April's about to talk about Uni Bowl one again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're pretty predictable, aren't we? So, so and it's it's better if you're on their uh, promotional emailing list because you get more sneak peek than you mm. do on the Instagram. Mm. Um, so, like... This stamp set, it's, I really like how it has a traveler's notebook. Oh, are they going to get dinged for that, April? Is that a copyright violation? <laughs> I mean, it, <laughs> it's fine. I mean, um, <laughs> <laughs> they have one that looks like the Hobonichi Day Free, <laughs> too. They right? do, yes. And a Hobonichi Weeks. And they, <laughs> so they've got all these, like, a gel pen, a fountain pen, a dip pen, a pencil, and stamps that say, like, favorite pen with a little arrow pen test ink test fountain pen addict ink of the day pen of the day like mm. hey does kelly need this yes she does um <laughs> and then i love pen and paper stamp set <laughs> i love the one that says uh fountain pen friendly and it's got like a fountain pen nib right next to this like drawn smiley face I'm like, yes, that's the seal of approval. That's the happy <laughs> face we make when it doesn't feather. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, they also released a couple other, like, um, stamps that are, one's called My People, the other one's called Family Story, and it's, like, kind mm. of, uh, you know, Thanksgiving holiday family stuff. Friendsgiving e. You know. Yeah. That's nice. So those yeah. are fun, too, but, like... Oh, oh, and I forgot to mention the most important stamp in there. It's like this rectangle that says brand color mm -hmm. and like another separated rectangle. So you can like put a swatch in there. Yes. And it's like, yes. Oh, my God. Christine. <laughs> but don't you already have the cat that swatches ink? From I do. My I do have that. But <laughs> April... <laughs> you can't you can't talk to me. I've seen your everyday explorer code collection. <laughs> so who's buying this time? <laughs> so so who whose order am I hopping on to? <laughs> oh. Yeah, a, if you want, we can do it set. together. I'm, I'm I think I have to do it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great it's set. Bad. Um and the others as well. I, I would have thought you already placed an order for the magic one from last um month. Oh I did. The one that you <laughs> the daily practice, right? Like you could have yep. waited a little bit and then No, I didn't I didn't know this was gonna happen. Like <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> this is a, a brand new thing. That's why I'm so upset. Well, I mean, I'm not really upset. <laughs> I, I like tagged her when I shared this on my story and she was, I was like, why are you destroying me or something like that? And she <laughs> responded and was like, it happens to all of us, Kelly. <laughs> like, it's not okay. my fault. <laughs> I guess I'm not alone in this. I love it. That's hilarious. Hi, Christine. We miss you. I haven't talked to her in a while. <laughs> She's there just quietly banging out bangers. Um, oh, my gosh. Seriously. <laughs> so, oh, and mm -hmm. yeah, I just saw April, what she's about to talk about. She posted about on our Patreon page with some really cute looks. That's what you're talking about, right? Yes. <laughs> 
So today I'm sharing my own stuff because April is using her stuff. And Yay. I opened a new Traverse Notebook insert, the Short Trip Refill insert, the one that all partner shops are starting to carry. You can buy online too. Um, like oblation. Which is like the half, <laughs> half quantity of the regular insert from Traverse Notebook. And I created an Animal Crossing insert because really um, cute. we all fell back in love with Animal Crossing. And <laughs> during the San Francisco Pen Show, both Kelly and I bought this super cute sticker book um, for Animal Crossing, the Japan version from Kino mm-hmm. Kuniya. And I was like, I have not touched it in forever. And then yeah, I started playing like, the update. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just didn't pick it back up. Even even when I got this, my last login was like April from, from the Cherry Blossom season. Went back into the game. They were like, where have you been for six months? I'm like, life happens. I got and a you new have, job. Like, cockroaches. <laughs> you have cockroaches in your you know, house and your hair is all messy. Penguin Yo's just busy with life, man. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> So, <laughs> finally got to take a break and play the new updates and uh, downloadable content, which is the, um, this is not an ad, but the Paradise Planning <laughs> Yeah, game. I, didn't, I didn't get that, but everyone keeps posting about it and it's so cute. It's so, I think so I much to. fun. So, <laughs> I, like, that was actually the catalyst for me starting this refill because I was just taking insane amount of screenshots of how yeah. I've decorated the home. And I'm like, I feel like a designer. I need to catalog this. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. So, I created a spread, like, a few spreads from it. But from the sticker book, they have a page that says, like, passport yes. and then you can oh, fill out so information April. about yourself like my my tagline was overstuffed camper which and is then great <laughs> i put a little <laughs> photo of myself you know I my name do that in mine. my island and then they, they have a little spot that allows you to put two small stickers like your favorite villager oh and my I, god i put the crane one and then they they have the name in Japanese though, so I don't know yeah. what the name in English is. But the it's like the dog that looks like a Shiba Inu, um, called John. <laughs> Something. Wait, like let that. me see him again. John. Is he? Oh, I think he's not. I don't think he's called John in <laughs> English, which is <laughs> like why it's not? Just, it's an English <laughs> name. I mean. <laughs> anyway, so I yeah. created some fun spread like I made I renovated my bedroom I was telling everyone who wants to listen to me I love my new Animal Crossing bedroom it's like the coziest oh, thing oh it's so cute I love that purple rose bed the rose bed sorry the guys I'm, I'm geeking out I have a bathtub <laughs> in my bedroom and then at the Aww. foot of the bathtub is a little melon soda the little oh I didn't house. notice that that's cute <laughs> so I was like I'm so happy I could die now like this is all I wanted in life to have this room and and then I create fun spreads nice. in it. And it's not really like, you know, some people make Animal Crossing inserts or journal. They're like, I need to track the turnip price. I need to track the chores. I'm like, no, I'm not doing any of that. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gluing down like yeah. scenes that struck oh, my heart. That. Like I if you the sea if, shanties. Exactly. If you play the update, there's this new guy called a Capen, which is that Kappa. Kappa. <laughs> and then you yeah he will take you on boat rides. So I just wrote down like the things he said, like in the middle of the song, he would say something, some things like, don't cry about dreams that don't come true today. Oh. Sometimes you'll need to try another way. So like, I wrote those quotes down. I know he's so, it's so sweet. It's so cute. <laughs> I wrote about Brewster. And then like I most importantly, I wrote about Brewster. <laughs> the, the catalog, right? Like of oh. my DLC content. Like I made this room it's filled so with apples cute. for apples, um, apple the character. <laughs> and so I yes. took so many photos of it from all angles. And then I have this beautiful food related memo sheet from the Pi, Pi? International. Yeah. That has the food theme, which has the so rap- um, apples peeled into little rabbits. So I was like, this is a perfect <laughs> page for incredible. this. Incredible. So, um, and the reason I chose the short trip refill is I know my passion won't last. So I don't want to commit <laughs> to a, a full insert. I just wanted to have enough for me to have fun for a little bit. So, you know, I already made like five, six spreads. 
And I'm already halfway through the <laughs> insert. I'm really happy about that, though. <laughs> mean, meanwhile, mine is in a Hobonichi A6 day free. <laughs> <laughs> I know. She's, got, she's like, I'm in here for the long haul. <laughs> you, I'm I'm okay with changing it to a different kind of journal if I need to, but I, <laughs> I'm loving it, too, so far. Like, okay... It just really quick, how you can go into the cafe and, like, talk to your villagers in there. One of yes. my villagers said, you know you're doing something right when you start your day with an afternoon cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, like, afternoon. my new favorite quote of all time. <laughs> afternoon. Oh, my goodness. I've, I've been waiting to meet Resetti. Um, so the, oh, the yeah. Do we one, meet him? I, I've met Don, like, in my journal, I wrote about it. The brother of, like, there's two, there's two Rissettis, like, the brothers. <gasps> Rissetti is their last name. So Don Rissetti is the calm one that doesn't, like, apologizes for his angry brother. So the oh angry God, one. Oh, my God, that's so cute. The Stop. angry one is the one, I think, in New Leaf or something, like, when you try to, like, close without saving or something, he yep. will yell at you and stuff. No, so... So here's the thing. This is like for OG Animal Crossing people. Yeah, let's right talk here. about this. I, I wanted to talk about the story. <laughs> so this is, I actually did not have this game on GameCube, but one of my buddies did in high school. And like, he was like, oh, let me show you what happens when you don't save. And like, you lo- you don't save when you're playing GameCube, which is the very first Animal Crossing. And then you, you start the game again. And then Rossetti shows up. He's this mole that comes out of the ground right in front of your house. And he's like, you can't, uh, you, you can't turn the game off unless you save first. You have to save. <laughs> like, so we're all kind of like triggered by Rossetti. But also it's kind of like, oh, memories of like back when you had, when it like wasn't auto saving. And I don't know. So, so yeah, because right now the game auto saves. So he's basically out of a job. So that's the funny <laughs> thing is he comes back into the cafe. Like some people had captured that on Twitter and I love it. Oh my god. He comes back to the cafe and it seemed like he mellowed a bit. Like like you could talk (laughs) to them. And then he said stuff like, Yeah, you know, I don't it looks like people don't need like don't reset as much anymore, you know, you know, I kinda reconsider my ways. And then he kinda went into this like rabbit hole and then he ended up kinda convincing himself like, No, no, we still need to save. Life needs a reset button and I'm like, Whoa, I want that so want, here's want. here's what I think Rossetti should do now, and this will upset a lot of people. I think Rossetti should come after you if you're a time traveler. <laughs> like, hey, you're not supposed to do that, isn't it? It's not spring in your town right now. <laughs> Stop cheating. That is kind of cute, actually. And then we're doing it anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't have any hate for people that time travel. I, I respect it, honestly. I'm like, I if I did that, I think I would get too into it and then I wouldn't do anything else. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I time travel a little bit when I wanted to play like cherry blossoms for a little yeah. bit longer. But but yeah, that would be cute if Rossetti comes out yeah. <laughs> and she yells at you. Because I mean, he didn't really have a function. No. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Poor <Yeah>. guy. <laughs> That's amazing. Now everybody's going to be like, why are you guys talking about Animal Crossing? For, like, I know. What minutes? is this podcast about? <laughs> Psych. <laughs> All right, so what's your stuff this week? Okay, so I posted about this on my Instagram saw, story, but yeah, it's so cute. So my coworker, Tori, who on Instagram, she's Tori Smith Studio is where she posts her work. She does a lot of um, fabric things. <laughs> wow, what a... She's going to be like, Kelly, seriously, fabric things? Um Textile art, I guess, is something you could say. Um, she does embroidery. Um, yeah, she's done a lot of good embroidery pieces. She makes a bunch of shit with fabric, basically. <laughs> Her stitch work is amazing. Like, yeah. Like, the things that she creates on the little round thing. Hey, is yeah. it a thing? Because, like, you know how soraya from yoseka is also a stitcher like oh. like she also does this as her side oh, thing oh i it's didn't kinda, know that it's kind of cool that all the stationery store has a person yeah. like that <laughs> so i i do want to i do want to plug her a little bit because um so this is basically a little pen pouch 
Mm. Um, I gave her this fabric that's got like moon phases on it. Cute. And then she made me this. It's for my Kawakos. So you go it's like, like a this. Pen roll. Oh. Yeah. You, you unroll it and then all your little buddies can fit in there. And I have a couple out right now. Oh, because your just... Kawakos are short and stubby and not really any pen case fits it. So. <laughs> yeah. So I think there's, yeah, it's a six pocket one. It's got a little flap. And um, so basically I'm saying, I I don't actually, maybe this is bad of me to do so, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, if if you're interested in having something like this, she would probably like make one for you if, if you'd give her money. So <laughs> just saying, you, Wait, you you're too saying, could have one of these. You're saying she didn't even sell these, but you're hawking from wares anyway. No, 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 no. I'm saying she, she actually did make a bunch and we're selling them at Oblation currently. <gasps> oh. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. But she also does like these kind of commission fabrics and stuff. Like if you're like, oh, I want to, I, I have this fabric that I really like, but I want to make a pen roll, but I'm not <laughs> skilled. But Tori is skilled. There's all this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm super pleased with it. And it I'm, looks super snug and like, yeah. you know, your vibe with the fabric. That's just, just screams all, Kelly. Oh, my little family. <laughs> <laughs> my little Kawako family. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to throw it out there, and a bunch <laughs> of people replied on my story. They're like, "Kelly, this is so cool." I'm like, "You can check her out." I'm just saying, <laughs> Tori Smith Studio <laughs> or yes. go on Oblation. Do you guys sell this online? I mean, we, cu- you know what? We should put it on our. Well, yeah. I think the problem, the problem with that is that we would have to like take a picture of every single one and yeah. then if that was out of stock it would be it would be a whole thing i don't know well but, lexi <laughs> just kidding yeah, I know. <laughs> lexi here's another job for you <laughs> that last like... <laughs> <laughs> I know. sorry lexi i should not have imposed <laughs> no but yeah so oh, that's cute i i saw yeah. it on your story that was like that is beautiful yeah. i almost bought another pen pouch last night because eh? a friend was sending me like a photo of del day you know the one that you know can pull down and yes. it's in the theme of demon slayer because you know oh, Jap- japan is just consumed by demon slayer right now and it's in that green and black checker pattern i almost oh, bought yeah. it oh my you goodness. should have why so not cute. i have enough pen <laughs> cases kelly <laughs> When, when I was at Kino Kunia today, I noticed they had like a, a Demon Slayer planner. And I was like, I wonder if they have the weeks. Of course, they don't have the weeks. Of course, like, they don't have the weeks. Trying to check it out. Like, no. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Did you get that yet? Uh, no, no. It's co- it's a spring <gasps> start. So I just imagine they send it It's a it spring out. start? Yeah, it's a spring oh start. Oh my God, that's so brutal. You have to wait that long. <laughs> I mean, my spring, cur- uh, sorry, not my spring, my weeks right now is a week's mega so it's perfect because uh, the extra pages can last me all the way till spring start you know like wow. that phase when i started drawing on the back like my own pages oh yes i, I really i really enjoy that phase i'm kind of looking <laughs> forward to it <laughs> okay okay so, yeah i can i can draw on that um yeah so well, well let's get on to something we want and yes like yes uniball won like april's just this is not a past episode it just so happens they have another new series new colors of the white barrel special color uh uniball one series we don't have enough of them apparently i i I certainly have enough but i have like maybe i don't know four percent of what april i know i have like 25 in my pen case right now all limited colors and so they came out with a fall and winter edition so packs of three i'm glad they're they didn't do that thing where they throw in like a blank one like a black barrel one yeah nobody wants that (laughs) so this is pure new colors so let me go through the colors and we can all kind of go crazy over it the fall mm-hmm. theme has a purple that's pansies mm-hmm. um, oh panji yeah <laughs> the cute. green the green color kind of like a mossy green color is catnip uh, like, it's super cute, cute. <laughs> and then there's this red that's Yaki called ringo? baked apple yakiringo oh. 
super super vibrant red. I've been liking nice. like orangey reddish hues in my gel pens lately, and then obviously green. So this set is a must for me. That's I a like good purple. One. I like green. I like reds. Okay, and so the winter set. Um, three colors again. The colors didn't. The naming didn't excite me as much as the previous set, but I'm still gonna get it. <laughs> but there's this mm-hmm. light blue that is um. Konayuki, which is powdery snow. Oh, cute. Um, and then there's this oh, kind of like tortilla, like um, <laughs> beige color. Kinako mochi, like the, oh God, the bean, bean powder so mochi. Good. And then finally, anemone, which is like a anemone. flower. Yeah, the oh, red flower. Oh, that's cute. So again, another, I think maybe more of a red, red, like the early of the big apple might be a bit of a more orange or mm-hmm. maroon. Um, this one looks like it's a very vibrant red. So, like it looks more like Momiji, and the mm. other one. Oh, what I don't have a fountain yeah. pen <laughs> for the other one. <laughs> Tortilla looks like. Oh wait, which which color are you compar- the, comparing? The baked to? apple. The baked apple. <laughs> I'm well, not sure. I mean, you know, Carnival I... by Diamine. That's what it comes from. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, you can't you can't tell from the color clip as well. Like sometimes when yep. it writes out, it looks completely different. Like you know how it's like that baked apple is printed a little orange on the packaging. Mm-hmm. I imagine maybe it's that orange instead of the uh... bright red. So yeah, three um six new colors to add to the edition. I mean, they came out with the Uni Ball One F. Um, but only in black, the ones I talked about before, the oh. the kind of metallic, like metal added to the tip style, when then yeah. the pen barrels is like a different color. But I'm still drawn to the basics, Uniball one, and like well, the yeah, color variations. They have, it, it's more fun to have new colors. <laughs> <laughs> and these sets are releasing November 25th. Um, usually, according to my sources, um, Tokyo Pen <laughs> Shops gets them. Oh, that's so, right. So if you want to get them, you have to go quickly. And I did notice that with the past series we talked about, the Fruit Punch series, that mm-hmm. one, a lot of retailers were able to get it. Like even Yoseka mm. had it. A lot oh, of yeah. stores was able to carry it. But this three-color limited edition, I don't know. I don't know if it's more rare because the... The spring and summer edition. Remember we talked about the Ramune color? Yeah. That series. Yeah, that one's very rare. Not that many people got to buy it. Um, mm. Aside from, from Tokyo Pen Shop. So I wonder how Uni Mitsubishi Penso Japan is like changing their distribution strategy to have more right. retailers be able to get these. Or are they going to just kind of keep it Japan limited only? So... I mean, here's my thing. If you call anything any kind of mochi, I'm going to want to buy it. So, <laughs> like, I, but honestly, I, I kind of like both of these. I'm usually not like April's insane, who needs this many gel pens? But now I'm like, ooh. I'm like that <laughs> meme where, like, the guy is standing next to his girlfriend and he's like, taking a look back at the... <laughs> I know the new uniform one color <laughs> and so what would be next to you what would be the girl next to you like... probably fountain pens my, <laughs> like my fountain pens <laughs> my fountain pens <laughs> I, I, I if someone it. make that meme please or I should do it I, you, I don't <laughs> you, can, you can go do it and we'll put it on the Instagram post <laughs> that's oh, hilarious man. that picture is vivid in my head <laughs> Okay, your turn. What is what is something oh. you're eyeing? Oh my goodness, this looks great. <sighs> I'm so <laughs> upset about this. So I saw this on my Instagram page, and I immediately messaged CY, and I was like, how easy is it to get this? And he's like, super easy, because they ship to the US, so calm down. <laughs> 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 I was like, no! <laughs> so anyway, it's a Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini, which, what, Kelly, don't you have two of those? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, and this is not a repeat episode because I know April just <laughs> talked about the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini in the last episode as well. Yeah, that's so. This is different. I'm actually April. I'm surprised you're not as psyched about this one as I am. It's it's a matcha green. It, it's too limey for me. It's too limey. Okay. Well, see, so the to me in the first photo, uh, the cap looks like a lighter green, and then the body looks like a slightly darker shade of the same color yes 
Um, and it's kind of like like green tea ice cream looking to me. It's <laughs> yeah, the, it's it's a very yellowy tea. Mm-hmm. Like not sure if and, it's matcha. Maybe it's like another kind of tea. Um, although Nagasawa well, Umeda, like I think they're they're known for their like kind of like cha house. <laughs> like what is well, a cha? And the <laughs> the really cool thing is the finial is the kanji for cha for tea. Yes, because that's kind of and their the, logo as well, right? I think the store. Wait, is or it no, or no? No. Well, the con- like the name Umeda Ochaya Machi Ten, like that's what? the Chaya Machi. Isn't that like a region or something? Like oh, an area? <laughs> wow. Okay, you heard, you saw it here first, you guys. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly derping. <laughs> no, but anyway. Okay, regardless of that. <laughs> It's really cool, and it actually comes, so it comes with a mini sailor converter, which is pretty neat, because usually you have to buy it separately, Mm -hmm. Um, and it also comes with a bottle of Chaska Green Mini. I don't, so Chaska, is that, like, because I know Cha obviously is tea, but I don't, I don't know what Chaska is. Yeah, that's the thing, I don't know what Chaska means. I don't know, so see why I might be able to, like school us and be like god you guys <laughs> <laughs> but anyway it's a very um, pretty green tea color it's but so cute yeah like like you described the cap is a lighter shade of mm-hmm. the green and to me the whole green is a little bit too yellowy of a of a tea color for me like if it's like a a rich matcha green right I would have just gone, like, you know, I'm not even going to talk to you. See, I'd... I would really place my order, you know, like, hey, Kelly, I got this. Hey, but I yeah. don't discriminate like you, so. <laughs> I know. Your, your, your taste for green is way wider than mine. Like, this one just gives me a little bit of a chikuri vibe. Mm-hmm. Like a little, oh, that would look good in there. <laughs> a little uguisu vibe, like the, yes. the green bird vibe. Yes. So it doesn't really scream matcha to me, Well. <laughs> It's it's okay to be wrong. Um, <laughs> so, so basically, this pen releases on December third, mm-hmm. and it's available in all the sailor. Maybe it's only. Oh, it doesn't say music or zoom, but it's extra fine, fine, medium, fine, medium, broad, mm. and um, it's only twenty nine thousand seven hundred yen, which <laughs> I With feel like. Ink? Yeah, I feel like that's not a terrible price for this pen. It's like probably a little bit under $300, um, which is a lot of money. (laughs) (laughs) But it's not that bad for what it is, like with the ink and the converter, like the whole deal. Do you have something purple? Like, do you own like something purple? Because their next photo where they put the green against the purple. I know. It gives me great. um, What is that musical with the witch vibe? Oh, uh, wicked! Be- isn't it? Oh, wicked. not bewitched! Oh my god! Yeah, wicked. <laughs> it gives me intense wicked vibes, and which is yeah. a, which is awesome. <laughs> I know it's it's. I think that's a Filofax next to it. It's like a purple phyla or something like that. I thought it's a Decona. Like it looks like. Oh no no! It looks Shh. like a Mortem or something. Hmm. Naga. So, oh, I'm trying to look at the tags. Of course, they didn't tag it. Why aren't they you didn't. tagging it? They just put <laughs> props up and then don't show. Uh. Anyway, it's one of those ring binders, I think, or some of yep. those folio ones. It's really pretty, and it's purple. And the pen, because it's a, a pro, it's a slim pro mini. Slim mini, yeah. So I'm guessing that might be like a mini five or a mini six. Yep. Pocket size ring planner. It's gonna look so cute with your mini. Oh my god! And with it your says Potter mini six. Oh stop! <laughs> no. It says Chamaku, which is like. Cha or T mark on the finial. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, yes. anyway. So I'll I'll take a sample of that ink though when you get it. <laughs> You're just assuming I'm gonna buy it. I mean what if I don't? You're gonna get it. <laughs> yeah, I probably will. That's so good. Yay, early birthday present, which is what I did for my <laughs> <laughs> she's so okay, she go. And she was like, Isn't your birthday in April? I mean, like, isn't it it's not too early? It's only oh. half a year early. <laughs> like an entire six month early. <laughs> oh my gosh, April. I love it. Yeah. Love what it. can we do? <laughs> so 
I guess that's a, the majority of it. And I have so many fun new things I want to talk about from like the in the last section. Something I'm not buying, but something interesting. So mm-hmm. three items. Um, first,、oh. Jetstream is releasing all these cool, fun colors in these like gift giving packages.、Um, it's in their Instagram, Uni Mitsubishi.、Mm-hmm. You can find that link. So.、Oh. They did, did we a talk se- about these. We did not. So、oh. the jet three, <laughs> jet three, <laughs> the jet. Oh my goodness! I'm so excited. <laughs> the metal four and one series,、um, mm-hmm. as well as the normal plasticky ones. And so they came out with these cool, funky, cute, like chic color. And the packaging of the box has these like people on it, and. You have to go onto their Twitter where they were showing videos of like the ads they made for it. So、oh. there's one where it's like this pair of coworker, two women. They're kind of you know like stressed by work, and one wants to do something nice with the other, and she like nudges her and like gives her a little the box with the pen, and then the other one is like the husband gifting it to his wife, and the gesture in four and one, and then the other one's like you know, so it's just a very like little. Snippet shorts、uh, of、mm-hmm. these like regular day people gifting people their friends or their family member a pen, and well, it's who actually who wouldn't be like <laughs> happy about getting a pen? It's、randomly. really charming, it's, especially if it's a good quality pen. <laughs> like it's a it's a、yeah. pen that you can use every day, and it's adorable in coloring. And then, like, it won't fail you in any occasions because that's what jet streams are. Jet jet、totally. streams are just amazing. So, the the new colors, you know, they came up with this like cute peach, this minty green, you know, this kind of red. It's just all like the oshare adulty color,、mm-hmm. and <laughs> the, with the packaging, they're really trying to go for it. I feel like this holiday season for people to、totally. easily like. This is a stocking stuffer or something like that. Do they stock? I really like those metal ones a lot. Those are really cool. The grip、uh, feels very sturdy.、Yeah. I like that. It's、um, all ridgy. <laughs> and then while I was on the uni、uh, Twitter, because I was like checking the weather on Twitter, that's what I like to do for November eleventh. Check the weather on Twitter. Seattle Weather Blog is a very fun channel to look at. <laughs> <laughs> They like to talk about power outage and stuff, so I'm interested.、Oh. <laughs> um, so, November 11 was Pokey Day. If you、oh, right. heard of it, and、yes. so Uni、uh, Mitsubishi Pencil, they they made these cute pencils that looks like Pokey, where it's like the whole pencil is dark chocolate or、oh. like a little bit toasted with like. A little, like most of it, chocolate, and then some were like just the edge of it being chocolate, and I、yeah. think they're trying to make it into a product. And I'm like, that is so cute! It's like a pencil <laughs> mimicking a pocky stick. <laughs> I when you sh- sent me the link to that, I literally thought that was pocky. <laughs> it was not. They were they were choosing. It was like a competition.、Oh、it's so cute. Yeah, I mean, if I they start、that. making like dessert theme, like pencil design. I buy it. <laughs> like I, sure, I, I would collect、totally. them like Blackwing. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> more hype than Blackwing. <laughs> It's super cute. And then finally, the last thing I saw that just kind of caught me off guard today on my feed was Bungo Joshi was doing this silly collaboration with this lip balm brand. <laughs> And、It's、you know、really、how they, they just like put the design of the stationery <laughs> on this lip balm stick, and so there's one with like the you know the note the the notebook brand that has like、mm-hmm. that composition book with the little yellow tag. So that one's kind of cute. The orange with the lion. That one、mm-hmm. I think is like a storage box or something, right? Hobonichi used to sell them. And、no, I th- I think that's the isn't it um like Cray Pass or it's some kind of like. Pastel or something, isn't it? Maybe.、No. Yeah, I just、Maybe、I、I'm、just、wrong. remember I this is one of those retro stationery、yeah. items in Japan. And then there's the clear eraser. I have you used one of those? The, ra- I, the radar seed. Yes, and yes. so the whole tube is like minty blue. But my、mm. favorite one is the Ofa. <laughs> Because it looks、balm. like a razor blade coming out of your lip balm. <laughs> I know. Yes. <laughs> 
so metal. It's amazing. I love it. It says hyper lip, lip balm. And it's just like, it's such a juxtaposition of like the whole tube looking like a razor blade, but then it's something you apply to your lips. And it's just, yep. they call it, the, they call the series um, Bungu Lip. <laughs> you know, I, I really appreciate the lengths that Japan goes to putting product images on things that make no sense it's like <laughs> my favorite thing it's dangerous like you know they i think their first series they did a lot with the glue the glue character mm -hmm. so it's dangerous like did you know what you're putting on is it like a glue stick or is it a lip balm because <laughs> yeah. it looks the same <laughs> But oh my I can see how kawaii it is if you're it's in so Japan. Kawaii. You're like at a cafe. And you're like, oh, let me pull out something to reapply my lip balm, and <laughs> it's this razor blade design. <laughs> and people are like, no, what are you doing? Oh, it's a lip balm. <laughs> I could just see someone going, what? Orufa. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was so cute. Oh. oh. Man. <laughs> So there, there's my bulk of like fun little uses, but cutesy, cutesy stuff um, totally. to share from this week. So, okay. So my things are not really cutesy. So <laughs> <laughs> we should, why so did we save that for I'm, I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about both of these things because I feel like it. So the first thing is Archer and Olive. They just released their winter collection which is not nearly as exciting as their Halloween collection, but I'm just biased. <laughs> um, I do like, I, I think they're cute. April was like, mm, but <laughs> so they came out in B5 or A5 for both, for all three styles of cover. They released this silvery one that has, it looks silvery white that has like this cute cup of tea on it. It's called calming. Um, a bright red one that's called Tannenbaum that's got kind of like a little Charlie Brown style tree with one little tiny ornament on it. <laughs> that's cute. And then the the light blue one that's called Flake that has a snowflake. Um, and the snowflake one and the tea one both have silver edges and mm -hmm. the Tannenbaum one has gold edges uh, or on the pages. Yeah. So I like those. Um, I just wanted to mention it because they're cute. I like, think they're missing out on a color there, which is oh, what you mean ever, green, <laughs> evergreen. They April, they have green light. They have so many green. Notebooks. But this could easily look like a Fourth of July collection. <laughs> oh well, if you're not well, yeah, you're right. Dang. <laughs> so I'm. But it's got saying, the snowflake and the tea mug. I mean. <laughs> It's cute, though. I, I do appreciate the little design with the Tannenbaum. I thought that yeah. was kind of cute. But the snowflake kind of felt... Mm, it fell flat for me a little bit. A little too just basic. Like, it's, uh, yeah. Like it's, I could have done that. Like they... <laughs> don't they already have something like that? And the calming yeah. with the mug. Like I, I thought they did something with coffee before. They so. kind of did, actually. But it's so, another one. This so could this be series, a tea journal. But I did see, I don't know if you saw, I think they did a, a new collection that dropped today or something that she's announcing called The Messy and Bright. I was wondering why you didn't talk oh, about that. Oh, yet. yeah. Wait, I saw um, that guy, Men Who Bullet. Didn't he yes. post about it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I so. don't think, I didn't actually, I didn't actually look at it though. Cause I, when I saw that, I was like, Ooh, I'm going to go to their website. And then I saw the Christmas stuff. So I don't think it's released yet. And okay. Technically it's not Christmas. So maybe that's why they didn't do the green. It's, yeah. it's winter. Right. So, so there we go. <laughs> yeah. You can, you can buy a holiday gift bundle, April with an evergreen cover. <laughs> So that's something, but I don't think that's related to their, I don't know. Yeah, that's well, not really the holiday -y style. I, but. I messed up. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing that I wanted to discuss was... You can already tell Kelly's super excited <laughs> about this. Just... So you know how, I, I believe it was last week that we were like, yeah, the Supernova um, Bungu Box dope cool pen but they keep teasing the inks and that's really annoying so they finally released their super fabulous new ink collection so first of all you can only buy it as a set it's like a 90 dollars set 
that's kind of a bummer for most mm-hmm. people, I feel like. Second of all, they're pigment inks, which doesn't really excite me because I feel like pigment inks are not... I mean, you have to pay attention to what pen you put them in because they're... It's not like you can wash it out easily is what I'm saying. You mm-hmm. you can wash it out, but it's not going to be a fun time. <laughs> like... You have to, if you're one of those people that's like, okay, I write with the same pen every single day. Let's try putting pigment ink in here and rinse it out in like a week or whatever, how long it takes. Um, But if you're someone like me that has like 30 pens and you're like, oh, cool, pigment ink, let's put it in here. And then all of a sudden your pen sucks now. (laughs) (laughs) That's fine. If you like pigment ink, I would love for you to talk to me about it and say, Kelly, you're doing it wrong, because I probably am. But but anyway, so third of all, I feel like the colors are not very exciting. It's literally red, blue, black. That's it. And the way that they marketed it with their video, April was like, oh, I thought it was cool. I'm like, no, it's like so weirdly done. I, I don't just know. rewatched it and there there was this part where it, it shows the, the, the letters high heel bottles and they strobed yeah. it like they flashed <laughs> the text. <laughs> I feel like they hyped it so much and then it's like, oh, OK, I don't know. I still love Boonga Box. I'll still buy stuff from them, of course. But I, I just it this release fell a little flat for me. But the sunset color is it red or is it orange? That's what I was curious. About. Yeah, is it, is it red or is it like an orangey red color? Mm. To be determined. <laughs> <laughs> they debuted Maybe we can... it during the International Pen Show, right? Like the, yes, the, the, the which show. just happened last weekend, which mm-hmm. is super cool. And April and we got, got a new to talk toy. to CY the day <laughs> after the show. Yes, you have to watch it if you are a patron of our Patreon, because that's yeah, where... he's gonna be on our latest After Dark episode. So even if you just <laughs> subscribe for one month and then decide that it's whatever, you can <laughs> just listen. <laughs> <Yes>. Just <laughs> listen for the one time. Yeah, yes. it should be a. It was a fun talk with him. It was really nice to have it him on. It was really great. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. So anyway, I think I've talked enough trash for the night. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was okay. It was not that bad. I mean, you're like <laughs> pining to buy the next Bungu Box um, pen the next time it comes out anyway, as we all know. But <laughs> Yeah. Yep. You bet. I'm just excited. I managed to snack the I strawberry. Know. She's still got strawberry that I talked about in the last half the hour. And so good. I, I can't wait for it to come to me. Um, so then, and then when it, it does, I can mm-hmm. just go to Seattle and like stroke it and then drive back home. <laughs> <laughs> Not creepy at all. <laughs> totally normal <laughs> Kelly behavior. <laughs> so yeah. Well, that's, that's basically it for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, you can find us at thestationerycafe.com. We also post all the photos that we talked about, um, all of the things we talked about today in this episode on our Instagram, The Stationery Cafe. And Kelly and I have a Patreon where we do fun episodes with special guests and extra digital goodies and stuff. So you can check us out there too. I'll see you next week, Kelly. Bye. Bye, April.